Hey everyone, welcome back to today's vlog. I actually have work today, it is a random Thursday. Um, I have to get up Lily at 6.30 and then head over to daycare for Ollie and then off to work I go. Um, we actually have to go check out a new daycare tomorrow because I got some really bad news from the daycare. Their employees are pretty much quitting. Um, the director ended up going on a maternity leave and I guess the workers are just not happy with what's going on and like four of them are leaving and there's only like five of them. So I don't really know if that is gonna work out. There's a lot of kids and I don't know how she's gonna handle all those kids with like herself and another worker. So I'm just gonna play it safe and go look at a new daycare tomorrow. It's got the same type of vibe. It's all about learning and education and um, it's actually closer to my house. So I'm gonna check them out tomorrow. I'll let you guys know in an upcoming video if it worked out or not. Um, but I'm hoping that we don't have to change because I absolutely love this place, even though we had to um, do the whole him wearing a uniform and stuff but other than that i really like this place he's learned so much there he loves the teachers which is another reason i don't want to stay because he's his teachers won't be there anymore and that's the real reason why he loves it so much he loves the kids there so i don't know and i also don't want to keep flopping him around um so again i'll, I'll be date you guys later on about that um I have to take a couple of Instagram pictures of Lily before she heads over to her dad's tomorrow. Um, so that's on the agenda and I have to do like TikTok videos tonight. Um, I actually stayed up really late last night. I normally am in bed by like 9ish. I stayed up till like 10.30 last night doing some emails and working really hard, getting my life together. Um, it's really dark out and I'm feeling I'm starting to feel the whole winter depression thing already. The seasonal depression, I've talked about it a lot on my channel. It's already starting to get um, a little bit darker every day during the nighttime. So it's, it's already starting to hit me and I feel like I'm just not there right now. I feel like I go through these weird vibes every month where I'm just like really depressed. Um, but it's like starting to get worse now that the winter's coming. Um, it is extremely nice out, guys. It's beautiful. It's finally hit that nice, uh, like, cool air when it's not too cold, but it's, like, just beautiful. Um, it's like hoodie weather. It's finally hit, but it's gonna go quick, so we're trying to just, like, soak it in right now. Um, but yeah, I have to get the kids ready. Ollie's not up yet, but he was moving around, like, 30 minutes ago. So I'm gonna grab him um, and then start with breakfast. We've actually been doing a lot of leftovers for my lunch because Anthony broke my mixing bowl where I put my salad, so now I have to buy another one. Um, <laughs> so I haven't been eating salads for lunch, but I've been taking like the leftovers. And guys, that meal, like the fact that I, hold on. This has come in handy so much. Like we have had, we haven't eaten now in like a month. It's helped so much keep everything in track and we don't have to worry about what we're eating on which day, what we have to pull and like what ingredients I have to buy. Like I, I haven't spent a lot of money this month. I've saved so much money on groceries um, and I've also haven't, you know, eaten out. So I've set like saved a bunch of money doing that as well we're actually eating out on saturday because it's planned um but normally like if i didn't pull anything or i'm just like too lazy to make it or whatever i or we order out and one week we ordered out like six out of the seven days and that's like terrible so this has definitely helped and i leave all of the ingredients on the counter so then when anthony gets home he could just get it together um because he comes home before me now. <laughs> uh, so I leave all the dry ingredients along with the recipe so he can get started, but it's nice and easy. And all of these recipes are like 25 to 30 minutes long. So it's nice and easy. I've also done like soups and chilies that I leave on throughout the day while I'm at work in the crock pot. 
and then like easy stuff in the air fryer or right on the like one pan meals I've been looking out for so and that helps with like my shopping list so all I have to do is go off of the ingredients for that so I will be planning like my November's month today um just so I can get a head start and start looking for recipes and getting that together uh but I also have to go food shopping today because we're going to the daycare tomorrow so I don't want to spend all weekend shopping it's I'm getting over that <laughs> so I really need to um start looking at the recipes but guys if you haven't tried this out I actually found this on TikTok TikTok is such a helpful app because I find like such neat tips and tricks for parents on there if you haven't gone on TikTok uh you should because it's amazing <laughs> but yeah I just print this out on Canva they have print they have plenty of templates and then I just customize it to whatever fits my family. All I do is just put like the name of, all I do is put the name of the the food item that I'm eating that day. And then I also write down when Lily's coming so then I know um, when she's coming and what she'll eat that week and she's sort of picky. So I try to customize it towards her needs as well. And then I... Uh, just print it out and I have it at my desk and then I print out the recipe So I just leave the recipe right next to the stuff like I said and Anthony's ready to go um, I will say that Anthony's a perfectionist So he's like measuring out everything perfectly and he takes like a really long time like cooking things Like it took him 30 minutes to cut chicken the other day into like one inch cubes, which I don't know. Anthony's a little a little over the top, so it takes him a little bit longer. But we had like the best chicken and dumplings like two days ago. Oh my god, it was it was amazing. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get started on breakfast and grabbing Ollie. He's been like grabbing like Rice Krispies or cereal or random stuff like that for breakfast. He hasn't want like he doesn't want to sit down and eat anymore. I don't know what that's about. Um, some days he sits down and eats his waffle and other days he's just running around. Um, so, uh, I don't know what today's gonna bring. He might be really energetic or he might want to sit down and eat a waffle and avocado. <laughs> we'll see. Uh, Lily does her own breakfast, uh, but I have to get my smoothie and everything ready. <sighs> Again, if you're sleeping on smoothies, you shouldn't because it's amazing. Hey, buddy. Hi. Mm. How did you sleep? Give me those pinkies. Give me those pinkies. Are you ready, Master Chef? Okay. All right. One banana. Banana. <laughs> You're supposed to put it in there. Ew. There's nothing on there, buddy. Put it in there. No. <laughs> More. Another banana. Oh, I want Here, you put this banana in. You want to put this banana in? Yeah. There you go. Dump it in. Yes. Dump it in. Dump it in. This is trash. Yes. Here, let me see your fingers. Ready? I know, I see it. <laughs> is that good? He has decided on a waffle today. And we put some sprinkles on there. Mmm, sprinkles. Is that a ghost? What is it? A bat? Okay, so I'm sitting outside of work. I'm not really going in yet because I'm 15 minutes early. Um, I dropped off Ollie and I talked to one of the girls and she said they're not all quitting at once. It's just one of them is quitting. But the other ones are thinking of quitting, so I don't really know how well this is going to go. So I'm still going to go to the other daycare tomorrow and still try to figure out my life um 
I just wanted to show you guys that I've repainted my nails. It's like a tan color. I bought the kit offline. Um, I'm really getting into the gel. And I didn't put the kiss on this time because they kind of, like, it's really hard for me to type at work on the typewriter. <laughs> um, so I need, like, my nails short. I will try to do the kiss again, but probably shorten them a bit so they're not as long and in the way. Um, but that was a good option for trying to you know make myself look a little bit more put together and honestly i really like how easy this was all you have to do is put on the base coat two tops of gel under the light and then you just top it with like i have a matte version but they also have like a glossy finish as well for the top coat you put it under there for 30 seconds each time and then it's done it takes like five minutes it's really easy when i don't have to use the press on nails because that was like um kind of challenging for me since I haven't done it before uh but anyways I just dropped Ollie off I'm on the phone with Anthony <laughs> and I'm gonna head into work I'm not going to the gym today because I think I'm gonna try and go food shopping during my lunch period if I can't go during my lunch period I'm going to do it after work and instead of doing leftovers we're having the stromboli tonight because I need to do leftovers for tomorrow where we have a crazy afternoon tomorrow with lily leaving at five and then going to the new daycare at 5 15 for the tour so i don't want to stress about having to make dinner and it running late so we're just gonna do leftovers tomorrow i have a bunch of leftovers um i did get a couple of pictures of lily this morning with ollie so that kind of works out for the instagram but i still have to finish that and then Lily has been having to sit down and study for 30 minutes a day because she got a C in math, which is so unlike her. So I think because she's in sixth grade now and she's getting more homework and she's going to different classes, it's starting to like change and I don't think she's adjusting well to that. So I'm having her sit down every day for 30 minutes um just going over her work it doesn't have to be just math but going over like all the subjects that she has she does have a spelling test on friday so we're going to be working on that later today so that's pretty much what we're going to be doing at the end of the day but i'm not going to film while i'm at at work just because like I, guys i don't really do anything <laughs> i've said this multiple times i do like filing um transfers stuff with the typewriter it's not anything fun stamping folders um and i do the mail so i can't really show the mail and some of the stuff i can't show anyways because it's personal information so i can't film those types of things um but yeah i'm gonna head over to work <laughs> lily's gotta study she's not happy so how does it feel to be a sixth grader and have to study all the time Nisa has way more homework than me. And she has to study way more. And she has more classes. So are you grateful now or Not you're really. still mad about it? Still mad about it. Alright. Uh, we're home. Lily is studying. Anthony and Ollie actually went out for a walk because Ollie wanted to. He grabbed his trucks and said, Hobie. And his dad took him out. We had a buffalo chicken stromboli for dinner lily didn't like it because i put blue cheese in it but it was phenomenal it was so good um it was really easy to make you make it with like the pizza crust from pillsbury doughboy um and then you just layer mozzarella cheese chicken with like a mild buffalo sauce topped on it then you do like either blue cheese or ranch in there and then you just bake it in the oven for like 12 minutes and it's done it was really easy um and then we just had like ranch and blue buff ranch buffalo sauce and blue cheese on the side for dipping and yeah anthony was obsessed i actually have to like clean up the kitchen but i'm gonna wait until they go upstairs to do that i have some emails to do all that stuff uh anthony will be putting ollie down for bed I actually had like a crazy day. I've started to drink coffee at like 1ish, 1.30 due to like me being exhausted by the time I get home with my normal coffee. So I decided to start drinking two cups and yeah, by the time 10 o'clock, I was up till 10 o'clock last night. So I'm probably gonna be up really late today as well, emailing, editing this video. 
I have to film another TikTok and I also have to go to ShopRite. You wanna go to ShopRite with me? No. I need like three things. I don't like ShopRite. Nobody likes ShopRite. Ugh, okay. And Uncle Tom's not working. <laughs> so I have to go to ShopRite, but I'll probably have to go by myself, which kind of stinks, but it's okay, Lily. Um, yeah, that's what my night is looking like. I'm probably getting it. I know it moves. Can you leave it alone? I'm waiting for Anthony to come back so we can watch Titans. If you haven't watched that, it's on HBO Max. It's amazing. You should watch it. And then I'll be uh, cleaning. So that's what we're doing while Lily still studies. She has to study 30 minutes a night now. I think I said that this morning, which she's not happy about, but it is what it is. Are you officially an adult when you buy mini Dutch ovens? Oh my God, they're adorable. I got these from Target. I'm making French onion soup. How cute. It's a little after seven. Anthony just put Ollie down for bed. He's actually going to bed himself. Lily's upstairs watching a movie. She doesn't want to be down here anymore. I cleaned up the living room while Ollie was getting a bath and stuff. Um, and you guys just see my little mini Dutch ovens. Uh, I also picked up, I did like a Target pickup um, earlier when I went to go pick up Ollie. Um, uh, I'm having so much trouble with my hair. Of course my hair is down now because I was getting a headache from it being up in my um, bun. I washed my hair yesterday and I have so much like dry scalp up here. It's terrible. So I ended up going on like Target's website and I found the raw sugar healing power and the pure scalp therapy. I found these and they had really good reviews. So I'm going to try them. I was using, what was I using? Like the Oxy, I don't know what it's called. I was using some biotin shampoo, but then like TikTok was like, oh, watch out for these types of ingredients so it was in there so i got rid of it and i started using the function of beauty um function beauty ones from target it's not the ones that you order online and get it shipped to your house customization ones the ones from target you add like certain add-ons into it and that made my hair so freaking dry um i ended up like looking up what i could use to counteract that and it was like tea tree oil so right now i'm using like some tea tree oil shampoo and conditioner treatment for like my hair but it's not working so i was like okay the next step is to get like a huge <laughs> a deep mask or would throw in some like i'll have to add like a crap ton of oil to my hair and just let it sit for a couple of hours just to get it hydrated but oh my god my hair is terrible it's just like flakes everywhere it's it's from this all the way back to here it's full of flakes like all right here all because of that shampoo i don't know what's going on um so i won't be using that anymore um i'm in the market for a new shampoo and conditioner so if you have any recommendations let me know i have like thin hair that kind of gets greasy easily um but i've been working on only washing my hair once a week so and not touching it as much but I feel like every time I film a video, I'm like touching my hair because it's just like not laying how I want it to lay. But it's 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 very long and there's a lot of it. Like I have thin hair, it's just a lot of hair. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I don't know what to, I don't know. So if you have any recommendations for a shampoo, what? If you have any recommendations for shampoo or conditioner, please leave them in the comments. I will be trying these out to hopefully heal my very dry scalp. <laughs> and I'll let you guys know in the com I'll let you guys know in another video if this works out for me or not. Um, but yeah, I hope this works. I'm actually gonna spend some time editing and emailing. I actually hit like my 500 likes on TikTok. If you are not watching my TikToks, I say this in pretty much every every video now. On my Instagram and my TikTok are down below. I've been doing Instagram reels with Lily and they're really funny. I actually show a sneak peek of her costume on there. She's being Lilith the devil, um, like the devil's wife. Um, and that's on one of my reels that I just posted. And then my TikTok is all about 
like shopping and cleaning and it's, but it's like ASMR version. I'm not really talking in it at all. So if you would like to see like my mo re most recent grocery haul or anything like that, just click the link down below. Also, I hit my 500. Like I said, it was so exciting. Anthony was in bed yesterday and it hit and I was like, oh my God, I got 500 likes. Um, it's not about the numbers for me, but it was super exciting to hit the milestone already. I didn't think I was going to get that many likes already. I was like, okay, a couple here or there. Um, but yeah, a couple of my videos got a good amount of views and I was really excited about it. So I just wanted to tell you guys. Uh, but yeah, if you haven't seen any of those, again, they're down below. And then the last thing I'm pretty much going to be talking about tonight is like, I... I don't know how I'm dealing with a toddler who is very much a toddler. Like he throws tantrums pretty much over like the, over nothing. Um, he just freaks out and throws himself, cries, hits. Like he's very much like a toddler boy and we're going through that right now. And then we're also dealing with Lily. Um, she wasn't that bad growing up. Like she was definitely spoiled um, and she still is by her dad and her grandmother on her dad's side. She's very much spoiled. Um, but I don't, I don't do the whole attitude situation. Like I don't like being disrespected. I think she should be respectful. I'm also respectful to her. So it should be like mutual. We shouldn't be you know disrespecting each other i say sorry when i'm wrong and i apologize for things i i try to work with her as much as possible but like every little thing that i'm telling her like she had to bring her laundry down and she started freaking out um i told her to change her shirt because it had chocolate on it and she was trying to wear it to school and she threw a tantrum. It's kind of like I'm dealing with two toddlers right now and it's really bad. Like I'm mentally exhausted from these children. <laughs> um, I think I might have to take like a little mental break over the weekend and just relax in the bedroom because it's starting to hit me how bad like they're ganging up on us. <laughs> it's kind of um, hard to deal with both of them when they're in that situation like Lily didn't want to eat dinner and then Ollie also didn't want to eat dinner so they were both kind of just um giving attitudes Ollie was like throwing a tantrum and he didn't want any of his food he just threw it and then Lily was just crying and complaining the whole time that she didn't like the food um which is fine <laughs> um but it, it kind of just it gets a little overwhelming at times when it happens with both of them and Lily's always asking like I wasn't giving attitude how how am I giving attitude but the way that she represents herself and the way she acts is she rolls her eyes at us she gives us like the the attitude over absolutely nothing the other day she actually threw her book because Anthony asked her a question and she just threw it and it's kind of just like we don't act like that. So I ended up telling her to go upstairs and just cool off a bit and then come back down. It was just, it was over a math problem. He asked a question about a math problem and she like freaked out. So like this is pretty much what we've been dealing with and it's kind of like, yeah, draining. It's draining for both of us. Um, mostly me because I'm the one that has to deal with it. Uh, but Hopefully it gets a little bit better. I know Lily's going through some stuff because she's changing and Ollie's also changing because he's going from infant to almost child. Um, but I don't know. We're feeling, we're feeling down about this guys. If you have any tips and tricks on how to deal with teenhood, because I have no clue what I'm doing, let me know. Um, yeah, we're just the type of parents who try to like be on their level and respect them and set boundaries but we also don't like the constant attitude it's just like a flow of attitude like it's not even like here or there like a little spice it's just there all the time i can't even say hey without her freaking out <laughs> so yeah i'm having so much fun
Um, Ollie has like these weird roller coasters of emotions. Sometimes he's happy and then the next minute he's sad and then the next minute after that he's like a tornado full of rage. It's just crazy in this house right now. Absolutely crazy. Um, so yeah, I'm actually going to end the vlog here because now I just feel bad about talking about this. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave any questions in the comment section down below. I answer every single comment. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.